being homeless to the feeling of unexplained desperation, to the feeling of uncertainty, not knowing what the next day would bring. I constantly wondered what would happen to my children and myself. I don't know where I would be today without my life experience with Environmental Place. father to supposed to provide for your children and you can't even provide a stable place for them to sleep each night. Well first we lived with my aunt and uncle and then we got kicked out of there so we stayed at a friend's house. We had to be in motels, get snuck into motels and that was scary. It was just a matter of finding where we were going to sleep that night. Haley and Robbie hadn't spoken for years because of the trauma that they had experienced. Having children that didn't speak was extremely difficult. Struggling with the understanding of why they don't speak, struggling with encouraging them every day to speak, it was hard, it was very difficult. When I first got to Vine Maple Place, I was in awe. I didn't expect half of what was available, fully furnished, with everything that we needed, from laundry soap to pots and pans. When we first got to Vine Maple Place, it was really exciting. <laughs> like, we walked in and I was like, oh my gosh, and I saw my room, and it had like a bed and blankets, not a dresser. It was a place we could call home. When we first met Josh, he was in a panic. His finances were upside down. It was clear that he had a steep hill to climb. Mike and Peggy Kanega, they don't leave any cent out unaccounted for. I'll tell you that from personal, first-hand experience. If it weren't for those things that they've taught me, I could be back to square one. Anita is a volunteer for Von Mabel Place. At first, we were supposed to just do horseback riding, but we ended up doing a lot more than that. I really thought we were working on social skills because she tended to keep her head down or would just point on the menu. What Von Mabel Place did for me and my family was help my dad get back on his feet, get a job, go to school. I took the opportunity to be reschooled when I was a resident of Von Mabel Place. I chose to explore the career of welding. When I'm welding, it's a tremendous sense of peace. When you're under that hood, it's just you and your thoughts. I've worked to master my trade, and it feels good. Haley slowly came to speaking. The first time I heard her voice, I just cried. It was so wonderful. She sings in the choir at school, and for graduation, she's going to do a solo. She's even doing some modeling for the photography studio downtown. She's just growing in confidence in the way she's expressing herself. I, I just love to see her happy. When Robbie started speaking, it was all of a sudden, here I am, boom, out loud and through the world. I was the first person he talked to. I woke up in the morning, so I was headed to the bathroom, and he said, why are you up so early? I didn't know what to do, so I ran into the bathroom and I shut the door. And I broke down crying. By the time Josh left the program, he was financially ready to take care of his family. Josh is now happily married, has a new stepdaughter. I'd say it's like they have a real family, and they do real family things. They do family activities together continue to grow and love each other as a family. That's what's in store for our family. And joy. <laughs> Lots of joy.
I could never do enough to repay Vine Maple Place and for everything that they've done for us. They've given a second chance to myself and my children.